Hi guys, it's the reactions here, and today I've got a gameplay on Resistance. It is a Russian 40 and 9 gameplay with the MP7, two attachments, proficiency with the silencer and rapid fire. The perks I'm rocking out with today is the Slight of Earned Hardline and Stalker. So basically, in this commentary, I'm going to talk about how to use your teammates to your advantage. So, we all know that random team members are most likely going to suck, but a lot of us don't know how to use it to our advantage, so let me give you some pointers. First off, always look at your radar. Where your team members are, the enemies are most likely not going to be there. So, let's say, if you can see um, a lot of the arrows in one place, then you go to the place there that has not got any arrows or like one or two. Um, so basically this means that once your teammates um, do kill the enemies, then the enemies will be spawning away from your teammates, most likely where you are going to be. So then you can uh, wait for them, pick them off, um, and then you can just stay in the spawn and keep moving from side to side all around the spawn until the spawns get flipped and then once you see your teammates try to make a move towards you or coming towards you etc then you go around the outside of the map and try and go to the other place where your team members aren't so basically what I'm trying to say is make sure you know where near the enemy the team members because more than likely they're gonna fuck you up really. sorry for the fringe but that's um, basically what happens with randomers um, also while sound harming um, if you can hear footsteps the first thing you should always do is look at your minimap because then the minimap shows you that um, it's the team members footsteps or the enemy's footsteps um, plus, if you see an arrow, make sure it's moving. If it's not moving, then it's definitely an enemy what's moving around. And that's the um, footsteps what you can hear. So that's another way where um, you can use your teammates to your advantage. Um, radar. Oh no, I've already covered radar. Um, diversion. If most of your team members are in one place, you could go around the back of the enemies and they won't really be expecting you. Only the good players will be expecting you. But um, in public matches, you don't really get matched up with good players. You just get matched up with noobs. So always um, go around the back of the enemies if you're a rusher. If you're a camper, so... Um, if you like hold down a position or if you're technically called a camper then um, you could um, see where your team members are um, guarding so let's take resistance as an example seeing as the gameplay is on resistance so in, in the garden um, because I sometimes like to hold down a position don't get me wrong but um, so in resistance, in the garden, like, let's say, one team member's guarding the gate, one team member's guarding the house. So the first thing I look at is the street. Because, obviously, the team members are guarding the house and the gate. So, if the team members die, then you know to look straight at um, them two areas. But if you just leave the street then most likely the enemies um, are going to come round the back of you and pick you off so um, this is a quick commentary um, I'm, I think I'm going to end it here because I'm running out of um, things to say if you think I've missed anything out um, please don't hesitate to tell me in a comment or personal message um, also, in the comments below, please um, write down some suggestions of topics what I could talk about or tips what I could give out 
or anything um, what you want to see in a video just put down in comments and I'd be happy to um, consider it um, is there anything Oh yeah, another thing. Um, I'm, I want to do a series. I uh, mentioned it in my other um, video. Basically, I've been wanting to do a series for quite a bit now. Um, I was gonna do a M16 Road to Gold, but I wanted some feedback of you guys. So, in the comments, also put what series you want to see me do. So. It could be a uh, M16 road to gold, it could be a PM9 road to gold. Try not to um, do another power gun though, because obviously um, it, it's not going to be entertaining seeing me raping noobs on the road to gold. Um, just put a gun in what you haven't seen gold. Well, I think there's a video of every um, gun gold now, but. What I'm trying to say is try and pick a gun what is um, like hardly used, underpowered, like the PM9, the M16, maybe the USAS, but you do see quite a lot of people using that. Um, yeah, you've got the general idea, so please leave me some feedback on that. Um, also, give me some topic ideas because I'm really struggling to. Um, find things to talk about in my commentary. Hopefully um, you enjoyed this um, commentary. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Heads up, enemy UAV spotted. Time's almost up.
confirmed.